Now we're underway here in Alborg with the home side in the all red and attacking from right to left on your screens. Not defending on the left hand side in the great kit between each other in the left and center back positions. Lucas Sandel starting in the right back position. And there's your first goal of the game. Through the legs by Felix Klar. He hasn't been as busy in Europe this season as he has been in previous seasons, but getting the start today. A man who was named by Henrik Mulgaard is such an exciting player. And it will be an interesting battle between them as well. And the first defension losing here against Barca and against Kielce so far this season. Well, they have a pick, so ending that on a high, and there's the first goal of the game for Nantes. Sandel has the shot saved by Halgrimson, a fast break opportunity down the left hand side. Uh, Valero Rivera makes it 2 1, and that shows Dutch side. Gold goes in there as a second line player from the left wing and tries to create some space. That's very well read by Halgrimson. And from the Danish league over the summer was with Geo Gay, and a touch on the way through leads to the penalty called by the Croatian referees. And a two-minute suspension. Double that from the seven-meter line. Oh, it's a gorgeous finish. Sent Gale down low, dropped it over his head. 3-1, not. And just took it out of his hands. Not a perfect start. Down low, saved, rebound. A bit fortunate, though, for Alborg, but stays out somehow. Off the underside of the crossbar. Bjornsson was looking for the referees to give it to him, but it looked clearly not in. And a huge overlap down the other side. Internationally and at club level. And taking care of this match of the week. It was a fitting task for them. Has a word with Toto on the line, who's really being manhandled at the moment. Ron Thompson comes off, and after serving his two-minute suspension, Jasper Nielsen back in on the line. Oh, he's all over these Alborg players in the opening seven. Ovnicek. Persson. Ovnicek with a bounce pass across. Into the line, into Toto, and it spills out of his hand. Now, and finally, Alborg get goal number two and bring that four-goal run to an end. Persson. Oh, it's coaches of Sweden will be looking at this one. A lot of coaches looking at this one. First... Champions League match and the sporting director, but now he's got the big job and so far doing a fine job as well. Joint top of the French League. League as well. Ball out to the right wing. A save at the near post by Seaman Gell. Oh, yeah. Really good transition from Alborg. Ball eventually finds his way out to keep the ball moving and eventually Sebastian Bartold gets himself on the score sheet. You can see there on your screen the the young right back as Seaman Girl gets another big save. Ball out to Bartold again. Wonderful save. And it keeps Nant. Two goals to the good. Finish for Leo Rivera. The speed of that attack from both teams is incredible, but not on a new level. And they throw that one away. Alone, tight angle, and Seaman Girl keeps it out. He's made his bar, which stayed out. We'll say one from two. Now you can see Miguel Hansen getting ready to come on. Top score by the defense, out for a corner throw. Palmerson sets up some space for Hansen. A shot down low. And it's 5 6. And now we've Really got a game in her hands here in match of the week. Moving, it's... Oh, ho ho! Howard Palmerson down the right-hand side. That is an absolute treat in the attack for way, and in particular, Nantes attack. Ovnicek, oh yes, Rock Ovnicek. Little shimmy. Back in, ahead of Palmerson. Miguel Hansen stays in the backcourt. Ball out to Felix Clark. It's good. It's really good. An incisive pass, and Clark happy to take it on down the outside. No time for Nantes defense to respond. That brings up Alborg's Tran. 
Ball into the line now, and that's once again brilliant movement by Rocco. Alborg respond immediately. Finally, a goal in this post for Nantes, and I think Halgrimson's done a very good job. As uh, there's a another simple goal right down the center of the for Nantes. Halgrimson with a bit of pace. Felix Clark goes low. Scores high. Persic beaten with the first attempt. Must have seen that one pretty late. In between. Decides to go down the right this time. Lays it off to Persson. Linus Persson with another one. Four goal game. And Nantes continue to score with ease. Attack flowing again. With Clark into the line. And a little cheeky backhanded finish by Rene Antonsen. Didn't have much of a choice, really. Did well to get his hands on it. For Theo Monar. For Nantes. You just continue to score like it's nobody's business. 17 13. Oh, that's a dangerous. We saw at the beginning. It's almost come full circle. Hansen. Sandel cuts inside. That's good movement. Last pass out to Sebastian Bartold. Right, he is in fine form. Just the one miss on the counter attack, but from set play out on the left hand side. This would be nice overlaps created for him this time. All the time and space in the world. Wasn't going to miss that. Ovnicek to Brie. I got to Ovnicek on the left hand side. Brie has space again. Another bit of a hammer shot. Hansen gets it from Sandel. Clark on the left hand side. Hansen into the line. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Rene Antonsen whipping that one past the keeper. And there's a save for Agaforge down the other end. Another free throw given. All hope lost. And a chance here right before the break to maybe cut it down to one or two. Nice skip pass across. And good movement as well by Thibaut Brie. That's really good. Thibaut Brie just leaving Sandel for 10. And Miguel Hansen against Ivan Pesic. Put away, never in doubt, really. And with two minutes left in this first half, Alborg. Oh, well, so <laughs> Theo Monar is whipped into it. Popped inside, Sandel caught out. Mulgar knew better than to Hansen. Clark. The ball not moving as quickly as it once did. And there's a save by Pesic. Rebound. Oh, how did he get his hands on that? Rene Thompson. Just gets the hand, hustle, pure hustle. This will be a good and there's a save before the buzzer, an important save as well for Mikhail Agonforsch. Alborg have been the second best team, but they find themselves. And we get this second half underway. It's Chris O'Reilly here with you. Live in Alborg as the fans take their seats. The final few filter in from their halftime break, and it's not. In the attack, uh, Cavalcanti getting his set play attack for the first time today. Scoring underway. Or the big. Uh, saved down low by Halgrimson. Counter attack opportunity. Really well worked there, and it's two goals in a row for Pip. It's a five goal game all of a sudden. So they said the game could be turned around one way. Oh, that's a nice pass out by Hansen. And an easy finish in the end for it is quick and as relentless in attack as it was in the. F oh, that's so good. Mulgar. All inside to the line and a very quick response. What else? Jesper Nielsen. And a lot of them. That's what they're doing here. Either side will tire of this, and that's a really cultured finish. He's looking at how he sets himself up here, and little spin. Oh, it's good. That's it again. This time, in no doubt about what he wants, but he shoots it wide to the left. Makeda, Cavalcanti, Toto all alone. Ah, oh, it's a brilliant stop. Mikel Agaf after Toto did him in moments ago. This Hansen. Miguel Hansen is blocked down into the hands on the bench. Every reason to be as well. <laughs> oh, Rokov to check. Just a little bit. For Alborg in the attack, but at the moment, happy to play with six. 
Palmerson lays it up to Hansen, and that'll be a goal. If it's not a penalty, it is a goal. Be nicely to Hansen. Good connection between the two of them there. But an immediate response by from the fence into attack. Great movement there. Benjamin Jakob sits Hoxer. The Palmerson almost slips out of his hands. That's the reset. Good movement by Hansen. That set things up nicely. For our chaos like that, he can just be one or two passes away from a goal. On the line. Laid off to Makeda. Ovnicek. Space. Oh, too much space, and it's tapped onto the Kush. Doing well to hold on to his place, I reckon, at the moment. And uh, there's a good goal by Benny. One, two, it's a goal and a two minute suspension. And to be fair, it seemed a little. And Hoxer doing well in the center of this defense. And a bit more movement out there, and that was important, but at the end of the day, an overlap out of nothing down the left. Let's see what forced that. Ah, uh, yeah. Jakobsen coming across. Fought it. And no need to. Bartolt on the other side and the left. Plenty of space out there for Sebastian Bartolt. And here's Ovnicek again in the center. Brie, that's an attacker foul. Agafors has a luck up, but Bartold with an empty net to shoot into or not. Oh! <laughs> Hello! Oh, that was remarkable. What a piece of defending. Oh, the arena in a bit of shock here. Everyone seems fine. We're back underway. Brie. The referee's not happy with what they're seeing, though, in the fence, and it's Mads Hoxer. He's got himself a two-minute suspension for holding on to the jersey. Makeda into Brie, 10 meters out, great pass across, huge overlap down the left-hand side, and Valero Rivera places that pass to keeper. Hansen, Palmerson again. Sandel back in as Hoxer serves his suspension. Crowd not happy with the defending there. Sandel gets a shove, keeps on moving. That's going to be a penalty and a two-minute suspension, I reckon. Heavy. I think it was also the knee to his leg that seems to be causing the most pain. Never mind his left arm. So second two-minute suspension of the day for Jorge Makeda. One more and his game is done. That seven-meter line. Hansen, nice finish. Five goal game. Of the check. Whips that pass across. We have to keep the ball moving here. Parish Brie. Palmerson. Hoxer back in. His suspension is over. To balance himself, he was on the way down. He managed to stay in his feet eventually. Maybe a hint of being inside there, but the referees let him go. Open to check again, and goes Alborg's way. Another one for Agafors. And here comes Ho I think the referees were right as well. Brie does well there, maybe sold it. Della on the right wing, keeping the ball moving nicely. Parashon, oh, it's good, but it's saved again. Mulgar wants it, ball into the line is a beauty. And oh, it was inside, Bjornsson. Brie across to Ovnicek. Nice pass out to Valera Rivera. How did he squeeze that one in? Hansen inside to Hoxer. Hansen on the right hand side here. Mats Hoxer looking to unleash one. Ball goes out to the left hand side again to Sebastian Bartol. This time it's no mistake. And somehow kept in play by Ovnicek. Brilliant stuff. They get a goal here, but they don't. Oh, and just kept out by Halgrimson. Oh, say by Agafors, ball over the top, Floodman, oh, great pass, has to be put in, it is put in. Andreas Floodman make the save in the first place, but then release Floodman on the counter-attack. Okay. And save down low by Agafors. And another ball that goes up at the moment, and Bartolt is left hand side. I don't know how well that takes a sting out of Elborg. Cavalcanti from downtown. Hoxer, Hansen, out to the left hand side again. Bartold again. Hello, Sebastian Bartold. 
Oh, an immediate response. Cavalcanti yet again. Effective. Ball into the line, and it's stolen by Nant. Can really underline their authority if this goes in, and it does go in. Valero Rivera, the first half, back in now, gets his goal. Oxer, another one over the top. Well, he didn't seem keen to take it. Dela Pradesh uh, draws the penalty. Good movement off the ball in the first, as he often does. Oh, so good. Valero Rivera with a silky smooth. Had his eye on these right backs all day and has had a big part to play in keeping them quiet. Uh, couldn't keep that one quiet. Lucas Sandel drifts into the center. Happy with himself. Uh -huh. Della Bertesh cuts inside again. There's no more passes. Shot has to come in. Shot does go in. Oh, out of ideas. Hansen. Well, you wonder when he does that. Why can't it's been perfect fifth of the day. Monar comes across just a little bit too late. Another playmaker is very, very talented. It's Cavalcanti from long range. Hello. Alexandra Cal. And that is going to be the very best of them. Excellent stuff. And a stolen. Linus Persson. All the time in the world here. Oh, good save. I got Forsch. Empty switch. Is Cavalcanti back in? And the protest on the left hand side to Demetran. There was no angle there for the next week. Hansen. Oh, Michael Hansen again. A Monar. Yeah, he learned quick game. Nant edging towards victory. That save down low there at this point. Hoxer. And another one over the top. There's nothing seems to be coming off for him today. Off to Clark. Miguel Hansen again, standing in the center, another standing shot, and this time it's kept out by Halgrimson. And Demetran again, this time decides to go against the shot. <laughs> he wants one from downtown. Well, that was brave. Close they got today in the second half. Sandel into the line. Another one out to the wing, that's a good finish. And that's Flory. Uh, time for one last attack. Brie saved by Agaforsch. And that should just about do it here. You come out on top with an important victory, an important away victory.